Lesson 5. Name decimal fractions in expanded unit and word forms by applying place value reasoning. So what we're going to be doing is naming some things here. And we're going to be naming those fractions in, or decimals in different forms. So it says express nine thousandths as a decimal. I like to write my nine first, and then I say, okay, well, what place value is this nine going to be in? It's in my thousands place, so I know I have a placeholder in my hundreds, a placeholder in my tenths, and my decimal. You can put a placeholder here, although it's not needed. So that's how that's going to look. And then it says express 29 thousandths as a fraction. So now make sure we, un we understand what they're asking us to do. I have 29 and it's thousandths. So it's simply 29 over 1,000. Moving on. Now it says express 24 and, decimal says and, 24 and 357 thousandths in word form. All right, so I already did that for us here. And that's how it's going to look. You will write out every word, including a decimal. You're writing that out as and. So you have 24 and 357 thousandths, that should be THS at the end, so thousandths. All right, now this is where uh, we have our most difficult part, if you will. Some people may think that it's not the most difficult part, but writing expanded form and you can use fractions or decimals. So I'm gonna show you both here. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to show you the fraction form and decimal form. Let's go to fraction form first. And if we have this number here, we know we have 24 and 357 thousandths. So you want to take each digit, each digit out, and then multiply it by its place value. So my first digit is 2, and I'm going to multiply that by its place value which is 10 so it's still looking like a whole number and then I'm going to add that to my 4 which is my 1's place times 1 and I'm going to add that to my 3 which is this is where it changes which is my 10's place 1 tenth and then I'm going to add that to my 5 times my one hundredths, and then I'm going to add that to my seven times my thousands. Okay, so that is expanded fraction form. If you notice, each place value receives its own multiplication problem, or you have a separate two factors for each place value unit. So let's take a look here. Come on. Sorry. So we have my tens place, my ones place, my tenths place, my hundredths place, and my thousandths place. We have the digit that appeared in each one of those and you have the actual place value unit itself. So now we're gonna do the same thing. However, this number here, this fraction is going to turn into a decimal. So we have, it said either or, you don't have to do both, you're doing or. And we have, since our number here is a whole number, it's gonna stay the same, we still have two, tens we still have four ones so it's going to be two times ten plus four times one plus three times and now one over ten our fraction is going to change to a decimal which is going to be one tenth plus five times one over one hundred is going to become one hundred and last but not least seven times and my one over a thousand is going to become one thousand 
All right, and now in unit form, similar unit form is very similar to word form. However, we're talking about how many units is in each place value. So it's kind of a combination of the two being word form and expanded form. Let's take a look here. So unit form for this number, we have two tens, two tens, four ones, four ones. We have three times 10 equals 3 tenths, 5 times 100 equals 5 hundredths, and last but not least, 7 thousandths, 7 times 1,000. Okay, so that is your unit form, your expanded form, which can be in fraction form or decimal form, your word form, as well as your standard fraction and your standard decimal. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and continue to watch the videos. Even if you have to watch a video four or five times, hopefully you'll get a better understanding and you can have some questions to bring to class.